calculating the line of credit needs. Here we're going to calculate the long-term and the short-term networking capital financing needs. Megacorp is negotiating a line of credit for 2022 and has the following information. We have here the, the actual uh, current assets and current liabilities and the forecast for the coming year. So first of all, we want to calculate the desired level of temporary financing for each quarter of 2022. And then finally, approximately what limit should the company request in its first line of credit. Now going into the first step, we're looking at calculating the networking capital for each quarter, which is simply the current assets minus current liabilities. So we have 138,000 minus 72, that's 66, and we do the same for the rest of the quarters. Now, secondly, we're going to calculate the long-term financing for each year based on the lowest networking capital financing needs in the year. So again, at the lowest uh, point, where we need the least amount of networking capital, we can consider that the permanent requirement. So that can be financed with long-term capital. So those two numbers, of course, 29,100 for 2021 and the forecast 32,000 for 2022. And typically they would, of course, come at the same time of the year because we're looking at the seasonality of the, uh, the, uh, the requirements and the, uh, the capital needs, networking capital needs. So let's take a graph, look at the graph of this. This is showing the, uh, the graph. You see the two years and the seasonality. Q4 here is the low point. And the low points refer, uh, represent where we have zero short-term financing, which in other words means we're going to cover that with long-term financing. And you can see there's also a trend there. There's a slight upwards trend. And of course the rest then is going to be covered with the short-term financing. So if, before we can figure out the short-term financing, we have to figure out what the long-term uh, base level is going to be for each of the quarters. So now we have the, the low points, the minimum amount of financing, that's going to represent the long-term financing. So we're going to see there's a, we have to calculate based on the trend, how much is uh, the financing is going to change, not on, firstly on a year basis, and then also on a quarterly basis. So first of all, we have the yearly change, which is $2,900. And uh, the quarterly change then will be one quarter of that. So 725 is the amount that we will, as, as per plan, increase our quarter, uh, our long-term funding. Now, of course, in real life, things will happen more opportunistically and you're not going to necessarily have uh, a quarterly increase of $725 every quarter. You'll, at one point in time, there may be an opportunistic funding for a larger sum. But this is just the theoretical approach that we're going to follow, which is consistent with uh, the idea of long-term financing and short-term financing. So for the first quarter of the coming year, we're looking at increasing the 29,100 by $725. So we have 29,825. And we're going to follow up each year that way. So we're going to add 725 to that to come up with 30,550 for the second quarter. And then finally, the third quarter, we have 31,275. Of course, the fourth quarter, if we add another 725, we should come exactly to 32,000, which we do. Now we can figure out the short-term financing, which is basically whatever is left over that needs to be financed. So there we have, let's go for quarter one. We're going to see that 71,100 minus 29,825. So we need 41,275 short-term financing for that. Following that up, we're going to do the same for Q2, 69,4 minus 35,50. And quarter three, same thing. Again, quarter four, we're going to end up with zero because that's the way we're planning it. So now we've calculated both the long-term and the short-term financing requirements for based on the networking capital. Now the second question that said, how should we, uh, what kind of a limit should be negotiated? 
One thing is obvious, there's not necessarily going to be an absolutely one right answer, but definitely anything less than 41,275, which is the minimum we need, uh, would be wrong. And of course, what we would want is something more than that because you won't have planning exactitude. And so therefore we would plan on something something higher and it would depend on a couple of things first of all how volatile is the business and what is the appropriate safety margin that we'd want to draw upon so is as an example we could be looking at 45,000 or maybe something closer to 50,000 as an appropriate limit in this case so that's it and uh, thanks for your attention and hope that helped